What's up guys? Trent from SE Outdoorsman here. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes, venison neck roast. If you find this video helpful, useful, hit that thumbs up, click that notification bell, and be sure to subscribe. So there's several reasons why I really enjoy this recipe. From a processing standpoint, because I process my own deer, I just cut the meat off the neck, I clean it up, and I package it. It's done. It's ready to be cooked at that point. Simplicity. I like to keep things simple. Simple ingredients, minimal prep time. It's a crock pot meal. It's a set it and forget it. Set it when you go to work. Come home to a warm, cooked, delicious meal. There's several variations on this. I'm basically going to show you guys um, the core recipe for the meat and then a variation I like to do on it. And of course, I will describe other variations you can do with this meal as well. So having said that, let's jump right into this and get this thing going. So here are the core ingredients to this recipe. Number one, we have our neck roast. As you can see, it's just a straight cut of meat off a deer's neck. Number two, bacon. We got all juice seasoning gravy, gravy seasoning, or all just, depending on where you're from. One stick of butter. I use unsalted. We got a packet of ranch dressing, dry packet. And of course, S&P cooking method, crock pot. SC Outdoorsman tip of the day. Guys, easy cleanup, get you a crock pot liner. Trust me on this one, it makes life so much easier. So we're gonna salt and pepper this on both sides. Make a mess all over. So we just salt and peppered our meat. In the back, I've got a cast iron pan with a little bit of oil getting good and hot. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna sear this meat on both sides. So you wanna get it good and hot. All right, our, our pan full of oil is good and hot. So what we're going to do, we're going to sear this on both sides. All right, we got our meat seared. We're going to take this out and put it in the crock pot. So we've got our meat seared. I just placed it in the crock pot. Now I'm going to show you guys the core recipe. What we're going to throw in, we're going to throw in a ranch dressing mix. We're going to throw in our all Jew gravy or all just, that's just. And one stick of butter. We'll add just a little bit of water and that's two pieces of bacon cut in half. When it comes to the ranch and the gravy mix, it doesn't matter which one you put on first. And depending on the size of your actual neck roast, you just kind of got to fill it out of how much of the packet you actually use. Like I'm done. I'm not using that whole packet. I've got plenty on there. Same with the ranch, just sprinkle it over to the top. Get a good coverage and yeah, I'm not going to use all that. This is a smaller roast. All right, next. Our bacon that we cut will go over top. I know what y'all thinking. It looks good already. I know this. Mm. 
Okay. Here's where Paula Dean would be so proud of me. One stick of butter, all right? That would be your core recipe. And of course, a little bit of water. You don't want to add too much water. This may be a third cup of water. We have shown you the core recipe for the meat. Like I said earlier, there's many different variations that you can do from there. One, you can do traditional, like a traditional style pot roast, add potatoes, onions, and carrots. If you do that, just be sure to add more water. The variation I'm doing today is we're going to add onions, and this is just a medium yellow onion, mushrooms, and some pepperoncinos. So I'm going to keep it with about the third cup of water, and then I'm just going to add my onions and mushrooms around the outer edge of the meat in the crock pot. And the reason why I don't have so much water in there is because all of this is going to produce like a gravy, basically be its own sauce once this cooks and renders down. The more heat you want, the more pepperoncinos you will need to add. Personally, I could add about 10 or 12 of these, but then again, I'd be the only one eating it, not my family. So, keeping them in mind, I do anywhere from four to six based on the size of the actual pepperoncinos. In this case, we are doing five. There is the finished product ready to be put on low heat in the morning when I leave out to work. All right, guys, I'm about to roll out to work. So. Turn the crock pot on here, pulled everything out of the refrigerator this morning, set it on low. All right, it will be done when we get home. I just walked into the door from work. It's 6 30 on a Friday afternoon, and the house smells great. Let's check this out. Our roast is done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the meat out, put it on a plate and pull it as if you would a uh, Boston butt. Look how easy that stuff just breaks apart. All right, so our meat's done. So there's a couple ways you can serve this. One, over white rice. Two, mashed potatoes. Or get you some sweet Hawaiian rolls, some baby Swiss cheese, and a little Duke's mayonnaise. And you can please the whole family with these sliders.